have an animal that moves really slowly? Maybe an animal that lives near ponds or lakes? What animal do you know that moves slow? Maybe a turtle? I have another one. And you might see these even in your own yard or in your garden. Let's see if you can guess what this is. Does anybody know what that is? I found it yesterday when I was out walking with Willow. That's a snail shell. Snails live in ponds and lakes as well, as in your yard or garden. Actually, they live almost anywhere in the world, which makes them pretty amazing creatures. I'm gonna play a song for you, and I want you to move with the song as slowly as you can. See if you can move really slowly with this song. It's called Goodnight Pond. Goodnight pond, it's time to sleep. No more croaks or chirps or peeps. The air is cool, the stars are bright. Good night, pond, oh pond, good night. The cattails sway quietly above the lily pads. The crickets sing and lullaby as the moon slips through the sky. Good night. Pond, it's time to sleep. No more croaks or chirps or peeps. The air is cool, the stars are bright. Good night, pond, oh pond, good night. How did that go for you? Were you able to move very slowly with the music? I wanted to teach you a couple other things about snails, and then we're gonna make a snail trail picture today. So the only difference between a slug and a snail is what? Do you know? Right, snails have shells and slugs don't. Other than that, they're exactly the same. Snails are actually related to shellfish like clams and mussels that you might see in the ocean. Some snails live in salt water, some snails live, live in fresh water, and some snails live on land. Snails can live pretty much anywhere in the world. And relatives of snails have been on the earth for 550 million years. Isn't that crazy? Another cool thing about snails is they have a really sticky slime. Well, it might seem kind of gross, but actually their sticky slime has been used to help scientists make glue and also has been used, they think actually it's helpful in healing people's wounds as well. And scientists are studying that. So maybe their slime might be a little slimy, but could also be pretty amazing. We're gonna make snail trail pictures today. So think about that slug slime and the snail trails that they leave behind. You're gonna need your paper from your bag that looks like this. You also have a little bag of sand. I put mine in a bowl to help it be a little easier for me to use. And I think you have one of these little Q-tips. You'll also need your white glue for this project. So here, of an inspiration picture of some snail trails. Pretty cool, isn't it? 
So we're going to see if we can make our own snail trails today. Use your glue for this, and you can use your glue to squirt on a picture. So let's see if this works. I'm going to make mine swirly. And just kind of really cool. I'm going to kind of just squeeze with my glue and draw with it like I would a marker. Look at that swirly picture I made. Now you could also use your Q-tip to swirl around your glue and get your glue to swirl, be more swirly. It's up to you how you want to do this. When you're all ready though, and you have a nice swirly picture, take your sand and sprinkle it onto your glue. Kind of like we do when we use glitter, right? We sprinkle it on. Try to spread it out so it goes all over your glue, not just in one spot on your paper. And then you can take the extra sand and just do that. And look what my cool snail trail picture is. It's pretty awesome. What do you think? You want to try it? Have fun. Bye for now.